But here on the ground, coming to you live from the Electoral Commission, I'm here in the offices of the acting spokesperson of this Electoral Commission. And we know that it's now just eight days to the end of the uh, presidential parliamentary campaigns, as well as the 10 days for. Uh, before we go to the polls. But we know that there is a process that began yesterday, that is the voter location uh, slip, that people are getting these slips that will be enabling them to at least locate easily where they are supposed to be casting their vote from. And to help me understand much more about this process that's ongoing for the next 10 days is none other than uh, Paul Kenya. Paul, good morning to you. Good morning to you and uh, good morning to our viewers on NTV. Uh, briefly, there are so many people who are not yet aware about what is happening. Yes, I know the process began yesterday, but what is this process, in t uh, what is supposed to be uh, happening in this process? And uh, at, uh, also at that uh, polling station or the parish, what's going to be happening there? What is it all about? First, I think so many people know what's happening. I think that's why we saw a very high number turning up on day one, uh, because there's interest in, uh, in the public to participate in the elections and to you know, obtain what is required to participate in the elections. So, yes, there is uh, uh, extensive awareness and uh, enthusiastic participation, we would say, uh, given the numbers that we saw, especially in urban areas. We are issuing voter location slips to registered voters uh, as one of the measures we came up with to enable voters conveniently locate their polling stations. While we displayed the register and people know where they vote from, we also have the register on the website. People log in and check for their particulars. Not everyone can do that. So as one of the measures we came up with was to give uh, out voter location slips. Mm -hmm. They help you to go exactly to the polling session where you should, and it helps to address the problem we used to have in the past where someone would go to their nearest polling station. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on our village. This is our polling station. This is why I voted in 2016. Uh, and then they would line up, and uh, after two hours of lining up, they are told, no, you belong to the other polling station. Then they would move to several polling stations, get frustrated, and give up on voting. Mm. So now the voter location slip helps you to go exactly to the polling station where you, your particulars appear. So that means there is, if someone didn't register, does, doesn't it bother going to the, that parish or that ward where they are checking the, where they have their information? The, the voter location slip. Or someone who didn't register. Yeah. It yeah. does, should, shouldn't bother because yeah, someone could certainly. just walk up and think, uh, now I have my... Certainly, you don't. Uh, the voter registration, the voter location slip is extracted from the register itself. So it is a print from the register. It's mm -hmm. a page in the register. It's your page in the register. So if you are not a registered voter, certainly you have no business coming to us uh, asking for a voter location slip because you're not on the register. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, th th that's it. It's a voter location slip. It, it's for those who are registered as voters for this election and those who appear at that particular polling station. So when someone ha has got this voter slip, this, this VLS voter location slip, uh, he has to keep it for all the processes, the, all the elections that will be happening. Now, um, it first it helps you to locate your uh, polling station. But it is also, it has information about you that is very useful, which, which is why I encourage everyone to get it. Mm -hmm. Because it has your NIN, your national identification number, it has your application ID, it has your voter number, it has your particular, it even has your photo. Uh, so it's a very, very good slip to have. And then, of course, you can use it to identify yourself at the polling station. It has a barcode. When you're printing it, we put on a barcode, which can uh, make identifying you even much more easy because we're also using biometric voter verification machines. So when that barcode is, 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 is swiped across, uh, you know, on the, on the reader, it, it quickly brings up your particulars. So, yes, it is, it is mild purpose. It's very, very good. It helps you to locate a station, but it also helps you to uh, I quickly identify yourself. And we know that some people don't even have their national IDs. Or others have them, but uh, they... they Probably they misplaced them or they lost them and they've not yet been replaced. Um, it's, it's important. Although, like we said, the, the key document we'll use on the, on the polling day is the National Voters Register. Okay, that means automatically if you have it, even if you, you've lost your national ID, you definitely will be casting your vote, right? Sure. Uh, the VLS, of course, helps you to identify yourself as well, like I said, at the polling session. So mm -hmm. it can quickly introduce you. It has your name. It has your application ID. It has your voter number. And the voter number is a proof that you're a registered voter. So we can punch that into the machine, and then we get you. But like we have said that a person who presents themselves at a polling station where they are registered as voters on polling day, 
will be allowed to vote if their particulars appear on the voter's register, even if they don't have any of those two documents. Because like I told you, some people already participated in the display and they know where they're voting from. Others have logged on to the EC web and, and seen their particulars. So they, they, they've said, no, I don't need to travel up country just to pick my sleep. I know that I'm going to go to a particular polling station. So the key document is the voter's register. The moment you introduce yourself at a polling station where you're registered as a voter, uh, you will be allowed to vote, whether you have the sleep or the national ID or not. Well, I don't know whether you saw what was flying on some social media circles that uh, some people are going to be deleted from the register with this. Once they go to uh, the ward or the parishes, they will be identified as supporters of some candidates. I don't know whether you saw that and what you make of that. Of course, the, the, the lies of the devil, <laughs> I would say. The register has already been printed. The register is already in the polling kit. We took the media to our warehouse last time and showed them. The register is already in the polling kit. And uh, the register has already been given to political parties. We are not adding or removing anyone from a register. Even if someone has just died and we know them, we cannot go back to the register and remove them now. Mm -hmm. The register is complete. It is sealed. Uh, the materials are coming to the districts this week. We cannot go back and, and touch anything. So if you're a registered voter, just prepare to present yourself at a polling station where you're registered, where your particulars appear as per the VLS. Uh, the voter location slip or all other identification documents you have so that's a myth that is uh, those are lies and i think we should not listen to such people there are journalists who are still having challenges accessing uh, many of these uh, political activities that are happening and in the case in being in point is that the registration of the media council and this concerns you as the, mani the managers of the this election what are you going to uh, ho how are you going to be helping these journalists who are being locked out of this process I don't want to talk about just being locked out. I know that there are processes journalists need to go through to obtain accreditation, and we've received uh, uh, a list of some of them who have uh, completed the process. We know that uh, uh, some have raised issues about the procedures, and even it's a matter that I think has been even taken to courts of law. Mm -hmm. I think as electoral commission, we do not have a mandate to regulate journalists, and we are incompetent to comment on matters relating to, you know, the regulation of journalists and all that. We receive, uh, you know, licensed media houses. We receive, uh, you know, certified or cleared uh, practitioners, and we give them accreditation. And that's mm -hmm. what we are waiting for. But certainly there is an engagement uh, between us as the Electoral Commission. Okay. Of course, Uganda Communications Commission has been with us along the journey, and uh, the Media Council to okay. ensure that uh, uh, there is uh, media coverage of the election and by persons who have gone through processes and uh, are cleared. Mm. Okay, very finally is the issue of the deployment of the army in this electoral process. Some, are, some especially the opposition candidates and the supporters are worried that this is going to be, uh, these are going to be int intimidating the supporters and the voters uh, that you are not in charge as the managers of the election. Uh, we manage the electoral process. We have clear functions. Uh, that, uh, uh, you know, where we have a clear mandate and uh, as per the laws of Uganda, the Electoral Laws and the Electoral Commission Act. And certainly one of them is, is not policing elections. We do not have uh, a police. We do not have, uh, you know, the, the, the means and all these things for law enforcement. But we do work with uh, uh, security agencies as uh, uh, mandated in the law and the lead agency being Uganda Police. So we need security in the elections. As a matter of fact, the electoral laws put it on us to ensure that elections are held in a secure environment, and we do that by involving the work of Thank security you. agencies. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Paul Bukenya, the acting spokesperson of the Electoral Commission. Uh, we shall be engaging you more in this, especially these last 10 days of the campaigns of go going to the polls. This is Stephen Imbidon Fefesue Chivuga, been here at the Electoral Commission on my behalf and on, beha on behalf of Andrew Chamagel, who was with you from 6.30 up to the time I came on. I uh, just wish you a nice week ahead. And of course, this being a Monday, uh, we know that at one will be more information coming towards you on uh, issues of elections at uh, NTV at one, and of course, NTV Akaunges at, sa at, sa at 7 p.m. And of course, NTV tonight. For me and from the entire technical production and the social media crew, we say have a good day.